on till the end of today's video to find out who won the £25 gift card for the Amazon giveaway on the channel. Stick around. Hey guys, me host Superzoro, thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! It's Trevor Beaumont. This is Trevor Beaumont, the collector's action figure from Diamond Select Toys. Now this is from the Netflix television series on Castlevania. I'm currently just finished season one, I'm about to start season two. I know season three is already on there, damn, I can't keep up. But I'm, I'm, I'm already, I'm into it, I'm liking it, it's good. I have already reviewed Alucard for this series, which is just the sort of Dracula. If you haven't seen that, that, that review, go back and check it out. We also reviewed the Marvel Legends Cuckoos the other day, you know, the... Um, the, uh, the sisters of Emma Frost, basically, her clones. If you haven't seen those reviews either, please go check that out. That'd be really cool. But for now, guys, this is Diamond Select Toys Trevor Belmont based on Castlevania. And it's such a cool figure. I'm really, really happy with this. So this is Trevor Belmont, the last survivor of the House of Belmont. Embittered in... Uh, embittered in... An ex oh, God. There's a lot of big words on here, I beg your pardon. Let's go start again. <laughs> Trevor Beaumont, the last survivor of the House of Belmont. Embittered and ex excommunicated, he finds himself drawn into a battle for the survival of Europe, a region that has brought doom upon itself by taking away the one thing its greatest monster loved. Also, we know that uh, from this line as well, we're going to be getting a Dracula um, as a part of the next line of figures. We've got these three figures which have come out, including Trevor Beaumont, Alucard, and... I. Uh, um, Cypher Bellinades, but we're also going to be getting Dracula as a part of the next line, so I'm happy with that. Right, guys, let's break him out of the box. So I was always a big fan of the Castlevania games growing up, guys. I played them on the Nintendo. And I'm so happy that most of the games now, you can get the actual Castlevania collection currently on Steam. So you can sit and relive all those awesome games. Also, the, the uh, 3D remakes weren't that bad either that they made for Xbox and PlayStation. Alright, enjoyed those. And in the second game, you got to play as Dracula. That was an interesting game. Where have my scissors gone? What have I done with my scissors? Oh, they're there. Staring at me. Okay, guys, just bear with me two moments or we'll just snip some snippy snips. Snippy snips. Um, snippy snips, snippy snips, two more snippy snips. Come on, snippy snips, there we go. So we've got the whip out, or one of the whips. It's also got that around his middle, let's chop that off. God, they didn't want this figure to come out, did they? Right. Yeah, he's out. We got him. We got him, yeah! <laughs> There's a lot to take out here, guys, so let me go ahead and break the camera off here. I'll get the rest of this out, and I'll be right with you. All right, guys, he is out of the packaging, looking awesome. Really liking that face sculpt, first of all. It's a very anime face on it. I love it. Loving the hairstyle as well. That's very nice and in keeping. Um, looking on the back of the jacket as well, the, the uh, emblem there is very nice and prominent. There's another one there on the chest, and I like all these little, all these little throwing stuff there. Uh, so the head is on a bit of a ball joint, so you can make him look down, up, as well as left and right. The arms do lift up, this top hinge do also rotate at the bicep with a single hinged elbow there, which is pretty nice. And the hands are on ball joints, you can rotate those all over. You get about 50 different variations of hands. Uh, in this box. You can also rotate him around on that ab crunch, but it doesn't really crunch forwards or backwards too much, but you can sort of get a bit of motion on it. Uh, there's no further... Well, there is a waist swivel there a little bit that I think... Or was I just manipulating the waist? No, I was just manipulating the upper torso. So the upper torso can sort of rotate around. No waist swivel, though. That's static. His legs lift out, but only as much as the cape piece at the back will allow. Although his legs do lift forward. Uh, with a top thigh brake, double hinged knee there as well, and there's a boot brake at the thigh, uh, sorry, boot brake there, so you can rotate the boot, and there's also the usual rocker pivot in the ankle, and he does have little holes in the bottom of his feet, so you can use a base if you would like to. 
Although he doesn't need it, he stands up pretty well on his own. The actual figure design itself is very well done. The paint is quite immaculate, I really like that. But we'll take a closer look at that um, as we get down to the desk cam. So let's just stand him here for now. See, with Alucard, you kind of knew it was based on the on an anime, but the Trevor Beaumont character really looks like an anime character. I thought Alucard didn't, he looks quite unique. So here's the first whip that's all, that's all tied up for you and stuff like that. You can actually untie it if you want to. If I look, if I do that, look. And you can see it is fully usable as well. That's the more classic whip that they used in the original game. But if you want to leave that tied up, you can. All you've got to do is just tie that back around. Like that. Keeps it all nice together. And he does have a little hanging thing on his waist here, so... We hook all three pieces around. Guessing that that that's what that's for. But yeah, we've got the like a whip style, like a whip harness there as well. He also comes with the classic metal chain as well, which has been seen on some on the video game art and stuff like that over the years. The big metal chain. Probably probably made of silver actually. But yeah, look at that. That's a medieval weapon half in it with a big uh, ball on the end. Very nicely designed handle as well, and the steel wash on it is very nice. Randomly, he comes with a bucket. I'm not sure if that's not something I've not seen yet. I don't know where he comes with a bucket. Would, would would that be a bucket of holy water? Or is that something to keep all these weird hands in? Because you do get an abundance of hands, including open palm ones. Uh, then we also get ones where he's holding these um, little throwing weapons, throwing knives. Actually, I think, the, I think they're meant to be... Um, Throwing stakes, really, aren't they? They're like wood. And then he's gone all Wolverine on us with that one. And you got again, you've got different ways of holding the thing, which is kind of cool. We've, got, we've actually got four sets of him holding the weapon, of him holding the thing in his hands. Look, so <laughs> all different variations. So it's pretty cool. They give us a lot of hand choices. And he does also come with two swords. This is the larger of the two. This is the larger sword. He does have a hole there, so you can somehow attach this to his body. Um, he does actually have a bunch of little belt loops and buckles, actually, so you can probably get most of these weapons on his person. Uh, so that's going to be pretty cool. I'll work all that out in a minute. But yes, he's got the, this sword as well, which if we pull out... Can you pull it out? Yeah. That's his big broad sword. Similar to the one that, uh, sorry, a bit of a thicker one than the one Alucard had, but same sort of design. Again, it's got a nice yellow hilt to it, with a nice brown handle, and a big ball stop at the end. And again, that slots very neatly. Very neatly into its uh, sheath. We do have a shorter sword as well. It doesn't. It's not as tight. It doesn't fit as tight in there. It it just falls out quite easily. But yeah, here's the, the smaller one. Again, it's exactly the same as the top one, just a bit of a smaller design. But either way, very nice weapons. All painted beautifully as well. So that's a look at all the weird weapons and all these gadgets. Um, so what what we'll do is, guys, we'll go down to the desk cam to give you an up close personal look at this awesome action figure. So let's go to the desk cam. Okay, so I've just found something very interesting. Um, on the packaging, as you can see, he does show that he's got a weapon. Oh, he's got a hand which he can hold his weapons in. As you can see, he's got a hand there for the the whip. Um, both hands that I've got currently on the figure that came with the figure are both closed palm hands most fisticuff hands and I've been looking at all the weapon all the other hands that came with him and they're all open palm hands not gripping hands the only hands that are remotely gripping are these and it looks like we've been when I said there's an abundance of throwing ones there literally is but they're, they're identical there's no difference so have they included two sets of these and missed to give us the actual grip hand Either way, I'm going to have to mod one of these bad boys and get try and cut as much of that away as possible just so I've got a hand that he can actually hold his weapons with. 
Otherwise, we've got a Slayer who can't slay. But other than that, guys, let's take a close look at the figure. So we'll start there in a moment. But yeah, as you can see, very nicely designed figure here. It is very nicely done. The paintwork as well. Now that I'm looking it up close on the Digicam, as you can see, there are some paint issues there on the shoulder. You can see the, there's some uh, sort of silver and white showing through from the base of the figure there. A bit, bit unclean. There's also quite a bit of white uh, bobbling effect from the plastic, which is warping. Um, so again, we have to file, might have to repaint and file and sand that down. Um, the back itself on the shoulders could have been nice to get some more yellow around here. It looks like they tried to do it at the top, but they missed a lot of paint around the sides. Again, on the back here, there's white in the red, red on the white. So yeah, there are there are paint issues with it, sadly, but from further back. It looks pretty immaculate. Sorry, camera's not focusing. There we go. Um, yeah, from, from far away, it doesn't look too bad. It's just when you get up close with him, it really does start to show. Uh, but the figure itself, like I said, is really cool. I'm going to have to try and mod one of these hands now, just so I can get the weapons in them. So bear with me one moment. Right, so we do seem very lucky in the fact that these were just stuck onto the hand anyway, so we've kind of been able to pull them away. It has left a bit of a paint issue on the hands, but once I've got a weapon in there, I don't think it's going to cause much issue. This one's uh, pretty clean as well. This one had a bit more of a snap effect to it. As you can see from there, it was, that's how they're stuck down to the figure itself. They just put a little bit of glue or something on the underside and then place it in the hand, so... Quite lucky that I've been able to mod those very easily, and it's now given us a couple of extra little, um, little throwable stakes, if you will. So let's get these hands on him, and let's see how he looks with the weapons now. So there he is with his big metal chain, first of all, that I managed to get in the hand. So I've got him in the open palm. Tried to recreate one of the moments from the anime, but I can't quite do it. <clears throat> the chain's a little bit too long. You can't wrap it around his hand enough to... You need to see it right, but I think that looks pretty cool. So yeah, that that that's the big metal chain in his hand. So scale-wise, this is how he looks opposite the Red Hulk. And if we throw Emma Frost in there for good measure, you'll see that he is approximately about seven inches in height. Emma Frost is a standard Marvel Legends height. She's not a smaller female figure. She's one of the taller ones. She can't get to stand though for love of money. <laughs> and as you can see, Danny Moonstone's one of the shorter female figures. So. Stupid Marvel Legends, I wanted to stand. And I've knocked him over, now he's not going to want to stand. <laughs> God damn it. But if we take away Big Hulk, uh, you can see that's how he looks opposite his other figure from the line, which is Alucard, the son of Dracula. And of course, then we've also got McFarlane's ghost from Call of Duty. Oh my God, I'm knocking everything over. There we go. So yeah, these figures are pretty unique in scale. They don't really scale with anything else. Um, there is a diamond select figure, so it is going to be closer to 7 inches. The ghost actually is quite short for the for a McFarlane's figure. Um, I have this, actually we've got another one I can we can throw in as well. Let's show up as it the Punisher. So there we have it, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the scale of this one in the comments down below, guys. And let's go back to the main cam and finish off today's video. And finally, guys, here we have Trevor and of course Alucard facing off just like in the anime and in the in Castlevania. That's what you want to see is these two facing off, to be fair. It was a great episode in the anime with them two fought, to be honest. I right like that. Yeah, such a cool, cool looking figures. I love it. I just can't, can't get his head to turn much. Sorry, Alucard's head won't turn that much because of that headpiece. So irritating. But yeah, you get the gist. <laughs> Definitely going to be taking these two for some Ash figure photography in the near future, maybe in some woodland looking area. Uh, might be able to get some really good shots out of that. But what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. And there he is, guys, with the big sword in hand and the whip at the back. Whoosh, probably how I'd probably have him posed, to be honest. Uh, with the, cl the, big, the classic leather whip needs to be used, and then, of course, you've got the, the sword as well. So this is definitely a figure I would I would definitely say worth picking up. Um, if not for the figure, for the accessories alone. Some of these accessories are brilliant. And obviously we've got a bucket now that's in scale. We've got all these different hands and stuff. So yeah, I think this is a great figure. Even with the little hiccup, you know, having to sort the hands out. It wasn't a big deal. We've sorted it. It's done. And I've still managed to, you know, get him to hold his weapons fine without any form of, you know, without having to go back and see if other figures are like that. Sorted. Done. <laughs> 
What are your guys' thoughts on this figure? Is it a figure you like seeing your collection? Let me know in the comments below. So guys, what are your thoughts on this awesome action figure of Trevor? Let me know in the comments down below. I keep saying that, but I really do mean it because I do like to have something to reply to. I will be starting to do the, subs the uh, subscriber shout-outs again as well. Uh, sorry that, 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 that took a little bit of a hiatus on the channel again, but it's coming back. So please leave some comments for me to respond to and you might get shouted out in the next video. If you want to shout out, let us know in the comments. Shout about it. <laughs> as well guys, you guys wanted to know who's going to win our subscriber giveaway for the 25,000 special. It is going to be, to celebrate 25,000, I'm going to do a £25 gift card for Amazon. Um, so the winner of that, drum roll please. Is G-O-T-H, or oh, goes by Goth I believe. But G-O-T-H, thank you very much for entering. You are our lucky winner. Thank you very much to everyone that entered. There will be another giveaway at 30,000 followers, which is only 5k away. So make sure you subscribe to be in it to win it. And uh, yeah, thank you to everyone that has followed along the channel on this journey. 25,000 is an amazing accomplishment, and I really never thought I'd make it this far. So thank you to each and every single one of you that has joined us on this journey. What do you want to see me review next, guys? Let us know down below in the comments. We've still got some awesome Marvel Legends to get through. We've still got the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, we've still got Bebop and Rocksteady from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Classic Collection. We've got a boatload of uh, Jokers, Aliens, Neckers, all sorts, Predators and all sorts still ready to go. And as of course, we've got the new McFarlane's range from Batman as well. And we've got... Arriving tomorrow, the Black Widow line from Marvel Legends. I'll be reviewing those as quick as possible. And arriving, we also had IG-88 arrive. And I've got um, some other figures already on the way from Cyberpunk. Can't wait to see all this stuff on reviewed on the channel. I hope you're still enjoying my content. I know I still enjoy making it. So thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Soup Sorrel, and I'll see you in the next video. May the Force be with you.